What up, YouTube? What up, what up, what up, what up, YouTube? Back at it again for another one of my videos. This time we're gonna do Danny Defense PDW. The little upgrades that I added to it, and one of the upgrades that I'm waiting on hasn't came in yet. But before we get into that, if you guys could go ahead and like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and share if possible, I would be greatly appreciated, appreciative if you if you was to do that for me. And once again, I do not have anybody sponsoring me or giving me anything free everything that i show in all my videos i pay for out of my own pocket so i don't get support and uh not yet anyway hopefully i will keep that good faith but um let's go and dive right on into it it's just a little sling I picked up one of the local stores out here in Memphis. Uh, I almost forget. Stay forgetting. Safety first. So, yeah, I see. We're clear. So, this is a, a Daniel Defense PDW 300 Blackout. I actually bought this AR pistol out of a gun store here in Memphis and I did a couple upgrades to it. One of the upgrades that, that I did to it that you probably can see right off the back is the trigger. This here is a RAS armament trigger. Um, I forgot which one but it's supposed supposedly supposed to be Raz Armament's top of the line trigger, the best trigger that they made. Me personally, I do like Raz Armament triggers. I do have quite a few of them and other guns. And I actually like it in this one. And I got the Shop Rifle Company, Shop Rifle Company Boat Carrier Group that actually matches the trigger. Both of them are nickel boron. But I kind of jumped on the head there, so we're going to talk about it try to go from top to bottom um the upper danger defense is pretty and lower is pretty much what comes standard out of the box with the pdw i, I added the magpul embus i mean not yeah magpul embus pop-up sites um anybody that know me know i gotta run backup sights on pretty much all of my weapons, especially my um, CQB weapons and the mag cool embus I like them they, they get to them real quick touch of a button so I also added this Hollison 510C and this one also has a solar panel on it which that's one of the uh, features that I really love about Hollison. And um, the charging handle that's in here is a Dane Defense ambidextrous charging handle which came inside of the Dane Defense PDW. So other than the trigger and the boat carrier group that I changed out on here, I also added the BAD bad lever to um, pretty much making the boat catch ambidextrous and um one of the I'm gonna go back to the boat carry group one of the reasons I had changed the boat carry group out when I first bought this gun the day I bought it I went out to the range and shot it and I put maybe I say maybe 50 to 75 rounds through this gun so when I got home I broke it down to clean it when I broke it down and took the boat carry group out once i took the the boat out around the boat the rings this uh, around the boat 
looked like it was maybe decades old, like it was rusty kind that was built around it and it looked it horrible, looked it bad. Almost to the point to where I was thinking like it's not gonna last too much longer. Like it looked it like really bad. I don't know if there was just a malfunction on that one or if that's how all of them do and they look like that and I, I really don't know. So I upgraded the boat carrier group to the uh, Sharp Rifle Company. And everybody know this like the Hulk version of the boat carrier groups. As far as the dust cover, this is the day to finish the dust cover that came on, on the PDW. I picked these mags up at a gun show that came through. I got quite a few of magazines with different little logos and little things on them. And this one here actually is a dedicated 300 Blackout magazine. And it's not the 556 five, or 223 magazines, it's actually 300 blackouts. And those are the only mags that I use inside my, I, like, I have multiple 300 blackouts. All my 300 blackouts, I use dedicated 300 blackout mags. I don't use the 556, five, 223 magazines at all inside my 300 blackouts. Another thing that, come, that, that comes on the, the Dang Defense PDW is the maximum defense uh, PDW brace. This brace is probably one of my favorite brace when it comes to a short ARPL. Now, if you're gonna do something like a 10-3, or if I'm gonna do something like a 10-3 or longer, I prefer a SBA-3 or SBA-4, depending on if I'm running with a, a thicker handguard or a slimmer handguard, that'll determine which um, SBA brace I would use. But as far as a short one, I say between maybe seven inches or shorter, I run with this one. Some reason I don't like when the buffer tube is longer than the barrel. I don't really care how it looks. It's just my my preference. And um, pretty much um, it comes with a hand stock. I actually took it off. Don't know what I did with it. I'm actually gonna order me another one to put on here. Don't quite know which one or what kind yet, but I most definitely am doing that here in the future. And I'm also gonna change out the safety selector on here. It's ambidextrous safety selector, but it's the full size on both sides. And it's the full throw, it's not a short throw. And the majority of all my AR-15s that I have the ambidextrous safeties on, they are short throws. I do not like the full throw. I prefer the short throws. I also upgraded the magazine release for the Strike Industry um, magazine release. And that's pretty much what I've done to this uh, PDW here. So I guess you guys go ahead and, you know, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think of it. Got any advice for me? Feel free to let me know. Fill me in. And. I mean, I guess that's pretty much it. I didn't even show you guys the DDM4 PDW stamp that's on the other side of it with the dedicated 300. And uh, maximum defense braces, they are uh, quick deployment where you can just yank it out and you don't have to push a button and all that. You just go ahead and give it a yank. But it won't go back in unless you push the tab down for it to go in. And of course, that's how we want it to be. Because if it wasn't, when you shoot it, it would just go in on its own. But that's pretty much my Dave Defense PDW upgrades that I've done on the Dave Defense PDW. So if you guys can, like, subscribe, share, leave comments, all that good old stuff. And another handgun. It's just a little Springfield XDS 45. I might end up doing a review on down the road on that one too. Not sure yet. There's nothing too fancy about it. But I, it gets the job done. So if you guys could, again, I really do appreciate it. If you could like, subscribe, and share. And I'll be getting with you guys, I guess, on the next video on another maybe AR build. Or I might go ahead and move to the pistols. Not sure yet. But... We'll get it on together, YouTube.